987 hanging out with NASA got Jamie Foxx in the yeah. studio. <laughs> How classic! How classic is just where you are? How classic is Hot ninety seven? That's classic. It's incredible, man. I'm just trying to get a couple of your paychecks. You know what I mean? I'm just trying man, to get that Jamie Foxx money. When I, when I tell you these taxes and these uh, babies and kids, man, sometimes it ain't working. <laughs> I love it. And Jamie Foxx, you don't ever stop yeah. working, obviously, because now you have yeah. a brand new song with Chris Brown called yeah. "You Changed Me." Yeah. yeah. So yeah, who you called him? He called you. How did this go down? Well, you know, Chris is actually like my little brother, and, I, and I'll give you some of the history on us. Let me tell you this about Chris Brown, people, what people don't get a chance to see. My, my sister, who has Down syndrome, ever since Chris Brown came onto the scene, this guy will sneak over to my house at any given time, come on and just give her a hug and dance with her and things oh like that. Gosh. So the, the dude is just, it, it, and I always root for him, and I said, you just, I said, listen, you just came along, you came along at a time where an artist or a rock star, it's hard to navigate in social media days. So when you see Chris Brown going through hard times, what's the advice yeah. you would give him? Like, You know what? I tell him every time I talk to him, and he'll tell you. You, you ask him about Uncle Jay. He'll say, Uncle <laughs> Jay, always pull me over. And I'm very, very tough on him. I'm very tough on him. I say, listen, you, you know, the things that you can fix, fix those. You have to let the music be your business, and your lifestyle has to keep you safe. It's okay to rap about everything that's going on in your surroundings. You from the hood? Cool. Rap about it. Look at look, look at Dr. Dre. Mm-hmm. Look at look at Ice Cube. Look at these guys who came from. I mean, when I first heard these guys, I was like, man, I hope I never run an Ice Cube. <laughs> I said he gonna kill me. You know what I'm saying? But then you know you meet him. He's like, hey man, how you doing? Yeah. So not taking anything from him, but he has a team, a great team around yeah. him to make him understand that yeah, this is where you come from. This is what we are gonna talk about. We're not gonna, but we're not gonna do what we're doing on our record. Yeah. We're not gonna make do the video in jail and then you stay in jail. <laughs> no, that's not the business. You know what I'm saying? And cut, and you can stay there. Uh, you got 15, <laughs> and everybody else is gonna go home. We don't want that. So the new album is gonna have yeah. this song "You Change Me" on it. Do we have a yeah. name for the album? It might be "You Change Me." Mm. I mean, I'm not, I'm not really, I'm not really for sure. But I, I, I got some nice records on there. I shout out to KC from a. Uh, from Orlando, he really laced me up. And what was great about KC is that he wrote it young enough, but not too young. Like mm. my oldest daughter get on me about being too young. I had on some shoes the other day that was some tepe tepes or something that somebody done talk, <laughs> yeah. whatever it is. Somebody that somebody talked, yo Jay, you got to get. They talk you into it, yeah, really. <laughs> and it had like a zipper that was gold, yeah. and then a hook, and then a spring on it, and something. And I'm thinking I'm looking fly. My daughter looked at me like, yo, what are you doing? I said, now this is this is the the deppies. She said, uh uh-uh. uh. She said, yo. Feet old. I said, what you mean? She said, you got no. old feet. No. You got civil rights feet. You got you got feet for marching. You got to get you a nice, well sold shoe, Dad. Oh, my god! A gosh. nice, you know, a, a square toe, you know, because you got to march. I love it. So is that Corinne who we're talking about? Yes, Corinne, man. Corinne stays. Corinne keeps me in step, man. She, she you know, and, and she never, she never, she never wavers when it comes to either giving me a, a, a great analogy on my movie or or give me great feedback on the music, or just me as a person, like, yo, dad, you know, uh, calm down sometime, you mm. know? And so that that's great. And she just turned 21. She's gorgeous. She's in London. Yeah, she, thank you so much. She's in London, and we just did her 21st birthday, so I love that girl, man. Do you want her to be in the business? You know what? I want her to be whatever she wants to be. My thing is, is that we always look at parents that are celebrities, and we look at the kids on how they develop. But... I, you know how, come on, you yeah. know how it is, man. This thing gets so weird. It like, does. I just saw the, the interview with the Dr. Phil. What's oh going my God. on? What is Dr. Phil? What are they doing? Now, why did you do that? Yeah. <laughs> now, you knew coming into this that you were going to, you, you knew that now, didn't you? I'm like, come on, man. Why? What are we doing? What are we doing? <sighs> Slow down. We don't need that story. If you can, if you can do anything, is just hold on to your sanity and, and, and and to your your self respect because at the end of the day, it ain't worth the Snapchat. It's not worth that Snapchat, which I think is interesting. Nah. You said that because like your daughter tweeted that she was teaching you, you know, Instagram, and she said yeah. it's been a journey because yeah, like, you didn't yeah. know what a hashtag was. Man, I ain't know what no hashtag was. That's that's, that's thing on the phone that yeah. I never understood. Too. I was like, what is that? She said hashtag. I said, what is what is what is smoking hash have to do <laughs> with me? Trying to send a picture somewhere. No, yeah. Dad. So she's always on me. I used to I used I to text that. all caps. I used to text all caps all the time. I didn't know that was yelling. 
Yes. And now they doing the emojis. I got man, look, this this one of her one of my young friends texted me something with all emojis. I said, I ain't first of all, I ain't got no glasses. I don't see none of this. <laughs> I said, what is this? It was little feet and then somebody with a tongue out and then oh it was my a, God. and I actually had that in my I have it I actually had that in the song. It's really <laughs> in the song one? and I'm sing I got a song that the line is like L O L smiley face the emoji with your tongue out. It's fly, but I didn't know what I was singing. And then my sister said, You know what you're saying? I said, What I say? You talking about emojis with your tongue out. What's that? Basically. And she showed me, I said, Oh, snap. So I know you also have some movie stuff going on. We went in with Mike Tyson to do the Mike Tyson story and for Martin Scorsese wow. to uh, promote that. And I, I go into the meeting and I tell people I've known Mike. I've known Mike. I'm 47 now. I knew Mike when I was 20 years old. Oh, my I go God. On sta- I go on stage to do my joke about Mike Tyson. It was an impersonation. Mm-hmm. And everybody's quiet. I'm like, yo, that usually kills. And all of a sudden, the dude in the back goes say, yo, Mike is in here. Oh my I was God. like, oh, snap. And everybody shuddered because, you know, that's when Mike was just knocking you out with his eyelashes. <laughs> right? Yeah. So I said, what's, I said, oh, my God. And then, then the dude says, yo, he said, do the joke. It better be funny. Oh, I my said, oh, God. oh, man. So I do the joke. It's funny. Stand in ovation. And we become friends. So I've known this guy for all of that time. I've watched the ups. I've watched the downs. And what I told the people as we were pitching the movie, this is the Mike I want to do. I called Mike about a year ago. I said, Mike, how you feeling? All praises to Allah, brother. I'm just so happy. How are you? <laughs> I said, I, I'm great, man. I said, why are you happy? I'm so, I'm so happy because I don't have any money anymore. So nobody can, nobody can take anything. Oh, my me. God. And I was like, really? And it saddened me. I said, what you mean, Mike? He said, no, it was this, always this struggle of you know, people want my money and you know, people trying to take things from me. So I'm just so glad I don't have that anymore. So, so, so I'm, just, I'm at peace, my brother. I'm, I'm at peace. All praises to Allah. And I said, that's the guy. Mike said something that I think I, t- I took to be one of the greatest things. We said, Mike, did you want the money? He says, no, I wanted the glory. Jamie, do you ever get starstruck? Like oh, when you, man, do you? every day, every day. And I'm, and I'm terrible with it because I'm too over the top. <laughs> when I work with Eddie Murphy and Eddie, you know, Eddie had his whole crew coming in. And, you know, I said, man, I get to work with Eddie Murphy. <laughs> and he walked in and he, and he had the shades on. And I'm yelling from the other room, Eddie, <laughs> what up, baby? I can't believe this. I can't believe this. And I hugged him all tight and his, and his shades were crooked. Cause I I squeezed them oh too tough and I God. and it said and he was like what is wrong I said no no man it's crazy right what we gonna do man we gonna smoke weed what we gonna, what we gonna do man? we gotta do jokes what we gonna do man what we gonna let's go back to the eighties man what the leather pants at come on man break out the leather pants what the red was that you wear the red ones I wear the blue ones we be like blood we be like blood and crips comedians though <laughs> and I started doing impersonations oh my God. <laughs> and he was just like what is what the? he never came out of his dressing. After the first day, he's like, I'm not going out there with him. I'm the old shit dude. Okay, remember Roxbury in L.A.? Yes. I couldn't get into Roxbury. I'm on the other side of the street. But every time somebody walk out, it's me. I'm the old shit dude. There goes Denzel. Oh, shit. <laughs> From the other side of the street. Oh, shit. No. And then, like, Wesley, I would say his full name. No. Every time Wesley come, I would say, oh, shit, and then his full name. Oh, shit, Wesley Snipes. <laughs> Wesley Snipes. And they'd be like, and I see him going to their cars, like, who is this mother? And they just keep bust. So finally, one day, Denzel comes out, and I said, damn it, I'm crossing the street. I cross the street, sneak past the security, and I'm marching up to, to Denzel. No. I said, D. And I went to grab him, and he did some equalizer like shit, and put his elbow right in my larynx. <laughs> he said, "Hold on a second, just hold on, calm down, calm down, just hold on. What's going on? Just talk to me. Calm down, calm down. What's your problem?" Why? I said, "No, I'm just trying to give you your props. I'm gonna be up there one day." And I told him I'll be there one day, and oh and God. I never lose that enthusiasm. And then, wouldn't you wouldn't you believe it? I throw my first party when I finally get on with In Living Color. Who comes to my party? Wesley Snipes. Oh, my God. As soon as he walked up, I was like, <laughs> yeah, is that what this is about? <laughs> yeah, G-Money. Because, <laughs> you know, Wesley always laughs before he say something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Does anyone ever get offended by you? Like anyone that you've ever Prince. Liked? Oh, Prince. Prince. Yeah, sensitive. I threw him off. It was my fault. I'm a huge Prince fan. I know everything. So here's how it goes. 1998, you tell me how significant this is. It's December 31st, 
tell me how significant that is. Wow. December 31st, 1998. It's about to be what? 1999. I'm in Vegas at, at Studio 54, uh, uh, MGM, and who's playing? The Time. And guess who walks out before they go on? It's Prince. Oh, my God. I run up to him. Full throttle. <laughs> <laughs> Through it. And I'm, you know, I'm Jamie Foxx. I'm Jamie Foxx. I'm not Jamie Foxx, but I'm Jamie Foxx. Yeah. yeah. Right? So I run up to him. I said, oh, my God. Tears in my eyes. I said, dude, you are the greatest to ever. No one better than you. And then I asked for a picture. Oh, and this no. wasn't This wasn't Instagram. Any day. This was the little yellow, you know, disposable. Kodak. Mm-hmm. Disposable. I had, look, I had, I had 12 exposures left. I'm about to flick off 11 with me and him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then one just by myself, you know, because I just like to lay it yeah. away. And he wouldn't give me a picture. No, nah, I don't do those things. You know how, you know how, they, you, know, you know, you know that voice he has. I said, yeah. hey, man, can I get a picture? <laughs> you know, I really don't. Uh, I don't do those things. I said, why are you t- talking so, <laughs> so supple? Like, I said, can I get a picture? He said, no, I really, I, 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 I can't. Oh. And I was really offended. I was hurt. Oh. But I didn't understand. I didn't understand. But I was crushed. And he didn't know how much he crushed me. And as a comedian, I was like, okay, I'm going to get him. <laughs> I'm going to get him. Never make the comedian mad, guy. I was like a villain from a superhero movie. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> stewing, stewing in my apartment. Oh, I'm going to get that guy, Prince. So I did jokes about meeting him and, you know, the fact that he was so good looking and, you know, that thing. And and it's true, though. He was a very good looking man. And I'm not gay or anything like that. It's just he was just very attractive. He and, is. Uh, yeah, he is. He looked better than Halle Berry. Yeah. And, and when I saw him, I was like, you know, and I had it was it was a hard time. I, I had a hard time looking in, at him at his in his eyes because I, I felt weird. I've heard like, that so many times. Why? What? Yeah, like it was a connection. And I, it's like, you know, like he was pulling me over to that side. You know, and I just, I didn't want to do that, you know. So I tell these jokes, and I think, you know, it rubbed him the wrong way. But if he's listening, I think that in the history of, of music, there is no one that stands as tall and as mighty as that young man. And, and forever, uh, he will be worshipped in my room Aww. I'm excited for your new album I've always been a fan of your music and you know what I hadn't sat down at the piano in a long time so mm. in this I sit down at the piano and, and say I'm supposed to be in love by now do you have time for a love life yeah we all do you know what? You're the we only guy do. who says that. You're being so honest right now because most guys be like, oh, yeah. I don't have time. I'm on my grind. It's like. Yeah, but I mean, they, you know, they're young and at it. That's cool. It's cool to be young and at it. I, talk, I got a homie right now. He going through it right now. The girl he was with. But your homies is like, man, you better bring your ass on up and get to the strip club, man, and smell your finger. You know what I'm saying? We fight it because society tells us to be the G, tells us to be the. You know, the Playboy or whatever. And, you know, so it's tough. So it's hard to get it. But what I do tell my friends, I tell my guy friends, I said, let me explain something to you. When it comes to this love game, I done done it and I know what it is. Women bend, men break. Be prepared for that. What do I mean, Jamie? Yes. That's what I mean. A woman, she bend. Okay, there's some hair in the car that ain't her hair. She not finna run up on you right now and spray you right now with all craziness. She gonna take that hair, put it in a plastic bag. That's evidence. But she still stay with you. Oh. Right, most of the time. Now here's a guy. We break immediately. I'm sitting with my girl. She looking at the TV, and she said, "You know, Chris Tucker so funny." Oh no. Funny like what? <laughs> I'm just saying. You know, he just. I mean, he really makes me laugh. <laughs> he make you laugh. Huh? <laughs> laugh like what? I'm just saying he funny. Funny like what though? Because you said that I make you laugh, and that's why you fail for me. I mean, what the fuck is going on with you, as Chris Tucker? <laughs> oh my God, Jamie, what is wrong with you? I'm just saying he funny. Well, funny like what? You what? You know what? How about I go get my funny gun and put some funny bullets in it and shoot you and this funny nigga out in the, in the parking lot? And and then after this, why are you tripping? I'm just saying, why did you look at him and then look at me as if to say I'm not as funny as him? Oh my God, you going too far with this. I just said the dude was funny. Fuck it, turn it off. Turn the TV off. So, yeah, well, turn it off. Turn it off. You know, I'm going to help you turn it off. Then you just bust the whole TV up. Yeah. <laughs> and then finally you calm down. Just because she said he was funny, you calm down, right? This yeah. is a man. And then late at night, you finally calm down. You're in the bed and you're laying in the bed and it's three in the morning and all of a sudden you turn the lights on. No, let's get down to this funny bit. 